He's one of Hollywood's most charming and talented leading men. Please welcome Pierce Brosnan. you recently I was on uh, a vacation to Greece and it it seemed like the entire everywhere we went was somewhere where you shot Mamma Mia and mm. I couldn't uh, we kept playing the soundtrack the ABBA soundtrack how the whole could time. you not yes yeah, so, really so yeah, we were up at Scopolis and yes. Scathis beautiful yeah. yeah yeah apparently at Scopolis they have my flip-flops in some restaurant oh really <laughs> with Christmas lights around them is that true <laughs> uh, yeah, I well, missed no, that I'll, restaurant well, I don't know somebody told me that but they're a size nine I've got bigger feet than that yeah <laughs> <laughs> they were loners. They were loners. <laughs> now, yeah. we, and we also, recently, you were in Washington, D.C. You're kind of getting your son settled in. My son started this week, yes. Uh, he started up there in Senator Ed Markey's office as an intern. He's only 17. No oh, kidding. Wow. So, uh, this grand man we've known for many years, him and his wife, Dr. Susan Blumenthal, and so... Um, oh, I thought you were talking about your son. I'm like, your no, son no. is married already? No, 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 no. Senator Ed Markey yes. and Dr. Susan Blumenthal, his wife. So, yeah, Dylan... Dylan, our boy, is there. I dropped him off. My heart was pounding as I say he goodbye. He wants to go into politics, though? No, he was, he, he, he's interested in the environment. Uh -huh. I mean, his mother, my wife, Keely, and I have done many issues over the years for the environment. And once you put your toe in that water, it has a knock-on effect. So you kind of yeah. got to stay the distance. So he's seen her and I do work. And... Um, here he is. He's up there for you four must weeks. Be so proud. Deeply proud. Deeply proud. Yes. I mean, he's. A Did you say cool anything boy. to him? Did you give him like a speech? Uh, don't uh, don't uh, screw this up, son. Absolutely. All of that. Be yeah. yourself. Head up. Shoulders back. You know. <laughs> listen. Be present. Right. Moment by moment, and um, be yourself. And and now you said before you said I'm just an actor. <clears throat> well, before acting, right. you had. An incredible job. You you were uh, you working as a commercial artist, mm. and, and you can and now you continue to paint. You paint too. Are you a commercial? Now you paint, and are you going to have an exhibit? Are we going to be able to see your works here? Hey, look at that. Well, possibly. Yeah, that's uh, an old piece. It's called Fiji. It's very bright. Yeah, if you don't know how to paint, just put lots of colors on, and. Um, but, yeah, I left school at 15 with nothing but a cardboard folder of uh, drawings and paintings, and that was my passport into life, really. Uh, I found a job in this small studio in South London and basically drawing straight lines, making cups of tea, and watering the spider plants. <laughs> <laughs> And then one day I was hanging my coat up and talking to a guy from the photographic department and he mm -hmm. started talking about theater and he said, you should come along to this theater club. Also, another interesting occupation that you once had, which I can't imagine anybody <clears throat> allowing you to do this, but you were a fire eater? <laughs> I, well, yeah. I, <laughs> um, I, I, uh, yes. Uh, when I started as an actor in fringe theater, experimental theater, I, I had a theater company called Theater Spiel. And so I learned how to fire eat. And the last time I did it was on the on the Muppets, actually. We actually, we have a clip of that. Oh, you don't? Yes. Oh, you don't? Yes, oh, we do. God. Let's check this out. What? Oh. oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Now, that's impressive, man. Mm. Picturing your agent, forget your parents. I'm picturing your agent, like, please not the face. Don't set the face on fire. I actually burnt my mouth really badly because I went in with the kerosene. What you do is you make, you know, you have your kerosene and uh, you have your little brands, dip it in, and you light it and blow the fire. And the prop guy said to me that morning after the rehearsal, he said, Listen, I've got this stuff, it's really cool. It it's, doesn't taste, doesn't smell. I said, Okay, let's use it. And we went for the take, but it was like rocket fuel. And that thing came right back into my mouth. Oh. And I was like, mm. or for, for the rest of the day, I, was, well, I had ice cubes in my mouth. Well, we're going to give you a chance to do it the proper way. Bring out. Oh, no, 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 no,
Well, we, we got to take a quick break. We got to take a quick break. We got to have more with Piers Brosnan when we come back. Film a long way down. We had Tony Collette here, and she says, amongst other things, that you're uh, naughty yeah. and cheeky and yeah. very expensive looking. Uh huh. That's what I heard. What say you, sir? <laughs> if that's the way she wants to uh, <laughs> call it, then so be it. You know, it's not a bad criteria to have, I guess. A bit of naughtiness here and there, and expense. I don't know, we had a great time. I love it a bit. Yeah. I mean, this is a beautiful film, and it's uh, even though it's about four people trying to end their lives, it's really about hope and friendship and mm -hmm. the resilience of life. And, um, you know, it's from a Nick Hornby novel, and he pens great pieces of yeah. drama. And, uh, so she and Imogen Poots and Aaron Paul and myself really just, uh, we were joined at the hip. Yeah. Uh, because of the text, because of the nature of the piece, because of the vulnerability and the fragility of these characters we're playing. So, I love the movie. Well, she, she said you guys had incredible bond, and actually <clears throat> it made it to the film, one of like the impromptu moments, in the water at the beach, in, where you guys are jumping around in Spain. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we went off to Mallorca for a week and just had a great time. Always check out the locations when you read a script. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're smart. You're so, very smart. You've had great locations. Absolutely. Greece, yeah, Mallorca, yeah. wherever. Yeah. But uh, no, it's a, it's a really beautiful film, and she's such a chameleon, you know, Tony Collette. She's, oh yeah, she's a I, terrific uh, actress. People ask, you know, why did you why why did you do the job or any job? But she's certainly the reason for it, along with the other two wonderful actors and Nick Hornby's work. Yeah. Well, you know, we're going to take a look at the scene now. And the scene, your character and your new friends all share <clears throat> three wishes for their lives. Right. So here it's Piers Brosnan in A Long Way Down. You're so terrific. Thanks. Well, thank you for saying so. <laughs> okay. I think the word fuck in Greece, though. That's where I'm going. Yeah. 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 Well. Next time you're on location on one of your films, just take us with you. Please. We will, Bodyguard. We'll carry your bags. Could do. No, yeah. no. Listen, you guys get out enough anyway. You get you get around the world, don't you? You know? Well, come on. You just, but not like on. you. My flip flops aren't on anybody's wall. Yeah, we'd rather go with you. <laughs> Listen, the film is a long way down. It opens July 11th in select theaters. Make sure you see this film is a long way down. All right, coming up next, Terry O'Quinn is here.